if you have a pet, this is the place to be. The ultimate pet show held at Birmingham's NEC has everything for a dedicated animal lover. Well, we've got everything for um, anybody who loves animals, really. We've got everything from dogs and cats to reptiles, we've got snakes, we've got uh, furries, so hamsters, gerbils, um, right down to ferrets. Uh, we've got, um, I mean, we've got every type of pet that you can imagine here. It's fantastic. Well, we've got everything from a stuntman showing us how he um, trains his horses for, for the movies, for films, to uh, ducks that have been um, herded by dogs. Uh, uh, to rabbit show jumping, to dog agility, rescue animals doing agility, a huge amount of um, variety. This is a fantastic day out for a bank holiday Monday. Dozens of stalls offered merchandise and expert advice on keeping animals. And we're here today uh, getting the public to overcome their fears of, of some of the animals and educate them about the cap correct captive care of, of um, unusual animals, exotic animals. Things that have been favourites today have been the giant millipedes, the big insects, um, and also of course the snakes and spiders. Lots of people in the UK are now keeping exotic pets, so it's important as with any animal that we look after them correctly. There was even a chance to adopt a hero rat. Hero rats were an idea which came up by a Belgian aid worker called Bart Weegens, who with a company known as Apopo, have actually come up with a technique of training giant African pouch rats to actually detect landmines by their smell. Um, since the project's been running, the numbers have increased and there are now 53 certificated trained hero rats clearing landmines in, in Africa. After a long day, some still had plenty of energy, while others had clearly had enough.